Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about this first aid kit made by a company called Survivewear. Now, I've reviewed combat casualty kits in the past, and I've been sent a lot of uh, mini first aid kits. And the reason they don't appear on my website is because the quality is usually garbage. And uh, I refuse to waste my time uh, reviewing inferior products, and I certainly wouldn't want to waste yours. So, let's get into a few of the specs on this first aid kit, and... Uh, show you basically why it made the cut. So right off the bat, one of the things that impressed me with this kit is the actual bag that it comes in. Uh, a lot of times these first aid kits, the bags are uh, lacking in quality, uh, to put it politely. Uh, with this one, you're actually getting 600D polyester. Uh, so it's nice, the zippers themselves, uh, pretty strong, good to go, definitely feel like they're gonna last a while. Also has a little uh, Velcro attachment here with some loops uh, and uh, actually really put on here, all right, so it's not gonna fall off. And a uh, perfect little setup to attach to your uh, molly webbing on your pack, whether it's inside or whether it's outside. Now, uh, speaking of outside, this uh, bag itself is not waterproof. It is water resistant. But as we go ahead and open up this bag, all of the components that are inside are basically in sealed, uh, reusable, watertight bags. Uh, so you're still pretty, pretty good to go. Even if water gets in here, your uh, first aid components will still stay dry. Another impressive feature with this first aid kit is basically the way that it's set up. So if we go ahead and open this up, you can tell that everything is organized and labeled, uh, which is an excellent feature. As you can imagine, during a crisis, during an emergency, during a scenario where you're going to need a first aid kit, there might be a lot of panicking going on, limbic system kicking in, especially when it's a family member, or a loved one, so on and so forth. So even when you are well-versed and well-trained, a lot of stuff you'll end up forgetting and uh, just kind of going by the wayside. So being able to have everything here and just kind of labeled where everything is instead of fumbling around and wasting time, super key component to this kit. Now, not only is the case in the setup impressive, but the actual components inside, uh, as an example, these shears or these scissors here, uh, these are quality stainless steel scissors, uh, not some little garbage that's just thrown in that looks basically like a toy uh, that you would give to a child uh, because you had, wouldn't have to worry about its sharpness because it wouldn't cut anything. But with these, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, other little things like uh, tweezers, all right? You're getting real, real tweezers here, not some little garbage component that's going to fall in your hand and they're just including in there so that they could list it on the specs. Uh, speaking of specs, there's actually a little card here. I'm not going to list everything that comes with this component or, or this kit. But what you do want to do is uh, check out my blog post on CoachHelder.com. There'll be a link in the description. And in there, I'll put all the specs and details uh, that I'm not getting into. Another main reason why I chose to feature this first aid kit on CoachHelder.com is because of the attention to detail that went into the construction of this kit. It wasn't something that they just decided to do overnight throw something at the wall, see if it sticks. No, a lot of thought, a lot of experience, a lot of attention to detail. Even the side component here has these little Ziploc bags for any type of personal additional medication that you might need. Uh, and there's also a little added room in here for any other little components, certain things that I might want for my dogs, uh, certain things that I might want when I'm out there with the younger scouts, uh, things of that nature. So there is some flexibility in this kit. Uh, it weighs in at approximately one pound. Uh, the dimensions you can tell are not uh, big at all. It's five by five by seven by five by three by five. Um, so pretty good to go whether you are throwing this in your pack, putting it on your webbing, uh, putting it in your vehicle. I mean, just a, a plethora of choices because of its uh, convenient size. So bottom line, if you are in the market for a first aid kit, uh, be it for field use, vehicle use, uh, even in a home. Uh, take a look at this kit made by uh, Survivewear. You uh, may be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I know that I was. This is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.